Hi, I'm Nadi Ansari, and in this video, we're going to talk about everything about dynamic parameters and how we can use it with Niagara materials and Niagara systems. So, without any further ado, let's begin. You remember in last video, we used material that we used on this code, okay? And we used particle color to change the color of our code with particle color in our Niagara system, right? So now I'm going to show you how you can use a Niagara dynamic parameters, okay? So for example, you can see we have roughness and we have metallic and specular, okay? Let's just delete this, delete this as well. And we want to use all of those metallic specular roughness with a dynamic parameter so we can access it in Niagara system. Right click in here and search for dynamic parameters. And you can see it gives you four values. So for example, first value, I want to call it metallic second value i want to call it specular third parameter i want to call it roughness and this parameter or parameter i don't want to use it okay just leave it empty i know we can just connect it to metallic specular to specular and roughness and roughness and if you click on here you can see there is a parameter index and right now it is zero so now let's just save this and i will show you what this parameter index is in with niagara system so in our niagara system we want to change this dy dynamic parameter and i want to use it in particle spawn just click in here and search for dynamic material parameters okay and now you can see you have access to metallic specular and roughness okay and you can see in here dynamic parameter index zero this is important because we want to change this just index zero the metallic specular and roughness we can do it like this for example the roughness we want it to be zero the metallic we want it to be one for example and now you can see all the codes are shiny and you can see it in here as well right let me decrease this camera speed and now you can see they are metallic Metallic, right so what if we want to have two dynamic parameter if you go to your material and search for dynamic meta dynamic parameter again and you can see again it call it metallic specular and roughness and if you change something in here for example this whatever it will change in here as well why because the index of, of both of them is the same Ctrl Z to bring it back to metallic and now in here if you change the index to one for example now you can change the the parameters name in here for example emissive color okay and we can just connect this emissive color to our emissive color like this okay now if we go save it and if we go to our niagara system and in here we can enable index number zero by clicking in here and you can see we have emissive color and uh, if we overdrive it, it it will be white because we just use a white value in there and you can see no it is emissive so let's just do something else for this i want to click on here first parameter i want to be r for red next green and next i want it to be blue right red green blue and i want to connect these three to our emissive color how we can do that if you right click in here and search for make you can make flow 2 make flow 3 and all of that but in this case i want to use make flow 3 because red green and blue is three value and the make to make flow 3 is more than enough and we can connect the red green and blue to here and the result of that to emissive color okay let's just change the position of these so you can see it clearly so now we have access to these two emissive color as well okay we use particle color for base color and the surface color we use dynamic parameter index zero for our metallic specular and roughness and we use dynamic parameter index one for the emissive color so now let's just save this and now if you go to our system you can see it has a emissive color in here right now the name doesn't change in here but if you disable it and enable it again it will give you the red green blue in here so for example i want it to be emissive on red and you can see it is emissive as a red so if you go here you can see they have emissive color right and you can do a lot of cool things in here for example you can randomize these you can change the color like this right and you can have whatever color you want in here and you can have it as emissive color and you can use this dynamic material on particle update as well you can use it wherever you want you can change values in your materials in Niagara system i hope you like this video please please if you want to help me hit that like button thank you very much for watching bye